Let's do this. This right here is probably what I consider to be the meanest question in the Foundation's Pre-Calc 10 textbook. Finding the surface area of a right rectangular pyramid. There's a couple of reasons why this is a bit of a mean question. First of all, you're given the height. Not the slant height, but the actual height. The other reason why it's kind of mean is because it's a rectangular pyramid, which means that the two different slant heights, this blue slant height and this red slant height, are not going to be the same. And we have to keep track of which slant height goes with which side. Let's get started. First thing I want to do is I'm going to draw a net of this. So here we've got our net. I've got some dimensions put in there. Keep in mind we're going to have a pair of blue slant heights. Those two are going to be the same. And it corresponds with the blue triangle on the diagram to the right. And we're going to have a red slant height there and there. And it corresponds to the red triangle on the right. Just so we can keep things straight, let's label these shapes. The base, I'm going to call that area 1. The blue slant heights, I'm going to call that area 2. And because they're both the same, both going to get the same label. And the red ones, we're going to call that area 3. It just helps us stay organized as we're working through the problem. Let's start finding those slant heights. I'm going to find the blue slant height first. So we are looking for the area of this triangle right here. And in order to do that, we need to find this slant height right there. To do that, I'm going to start by drawing that blue triangle, and we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find that slant height. Now one place that people often get tripped up is the bottom leg of this triangle, this leg right there. The part that's confusing to some people is while that slant height is on the 10-foot side, that triangle actually matches up with the 8-foot side. So when I'm talking about that internal triangle, that bottom leg is going to be half of that 8-foot length, not the 10-foot length. So that's 4 feet. And this is our slant height. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem. Put in what we know. And now let's calculate that slant height. There's my blue slant height. I can use that now to find area 2. I've got enough information to solve for the area of that triangle. Put in what we know. When I do 10 times 16.49 and then divide the answer by 2, the area of that triangle is 82.45 square feet. There's the area of my first set of faces. Let's find area number three. That's this face right here. In order to find that area, we're going to need to find this red slant height right here. And to do that, we're going to use the red triangle that's inside our pyramid. Let's redraw that triangle. Once again, for that bottom leg, this edge actually matches with half of the 10 foot length. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for S again. Okay, so it's not that different than our previous slant height, but it is different enough that it will throw our calculations off. Let's use that to find the area of our triangle. And there is the area of our other pair of sides. I've now found the areas of all of my triangular faces. Let's find the area of that base, and it's just a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. Area of my base is 80 square feet. So now that I have the areas of all of my faces, I can put it together and find the total surface area of this pyramid. My total surface area is area 1, which is our base, plus area 2, and because I've got two of those, plus area 3. Let's put the numbers in. My total surface area is 379.0 square feet. Lots of little steps, lots of places to make mistakes, so make sure you're very clear in how you write it, you're organized, and you're neat. Good luck!